Hello everyone, today's video is all about financing a new business startup. So assuming that you've uh, decided to set up a limited company, then how do you fund the limited company with, with seed capital? So if you are the, the director shareholder and you've got a few quid of your own to uh, invest in your business, then the easiest thing to do is to subscribe for a nominal amount of share capital maybe a pound, um, and then the balance as director's loan account. So you will lend money to your startup, your limited company. This can then be accessed, repaid to you tax-free whenever the business uh, can afford to do so in the future. But it's, it's the easiest thing is to have that as the director's loan account for the bulk of your investment in your own business. Don't lock it in as share capital. You can get your hands on locked in share capital. It's a lot easier now than it used to be a decade or so ago, but it's still a bit of a process. It's a bit involved. Uh, and you, quite frankly, you don't need the aggro. So you have a choice and the choice is um, director's loan account or share capital. I would say always choose director's loan account over the share capital but you still have to have some share capital, but it can be as modest as one pound. So that's your initial investment as the founder of the company, turning now to external sources. If it's bank funding, uh, well, that's pretty straightforward. You get a bank loan uh, in the, uh, the name of the business in the company, and you'll pay uh, interest on the bank loan. The interest that you pay is tax deductible against corporation tax so uh, that is good other external investors such as peer-to-peer um, -peer lending so you've got a loan not from a bank but from peer-to-peer -peer lending you can secure these uh, on the internet um, Often, the due diligence that these peer-to-peer -peer lenders will ask for isn't that onerous, uh, and you can get your hands on a loan from uh, one of these platforms. Now, for the investors into the peer-to-peer -peer lending um, firms, that's it's been made more attractive to those individuals recently, the fact that they can hold those investments within uh, an ISA, and I've done a separate vlog on innovative finance ISAs. So for those who are looking to invest, peer-to-peer -peer lending has been expanded. You could uh, uh, obtain some peer-to-peer -peer financing. You could also obtain some peer-to-peer -peer equity funding. So this is where you issue shares in your uh, company to people on a crowdfunding platform and that will be share capital that is longer term uh, finance that's locked in that's share capital and there'll be uh, there could be investments that have been held for for several years it could be it could be locked in there an alternative to the the crowdfunding via either uh, loans or equity is equity investments from angel investors. So forget peer-to-peer um, -peer lending now. We're just focusing in on, on a handful of individuals or even one, a sole, one or two individuals who subscribe for share capital in your business and you can qualify for what's known as the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme or the Enterprise Investment Scheme. And these are tax efficient breaks uh, given by HMRC to the investor. So the investor will subscribe for shares in your company, but there will be tax breaks for them for doing so. Typically, they get a reduction on their income tax bill. And there's also capital gains tax breaks at the back end when they come to sell their shares in your company business. So these are ideal for attracting money at the start of your business venture. Um,
because you will have that money locked in for often five years. One of the conditions of the investors getting the generous tax breaks is that your company gets to use the money for at least five years and they can't um, access it back before then without there being some sort of penalty clause. So um, do have a think about that. So in a nutshell then, in a summary, funding, how do you, how do you fund a, a new startup? If it's with your own money, you're putting a few quid in, put most of that in as the director's loan account, not share capital. If you are getting a bank loan or bank overdraft, great. Uh, interest, tax deductible. Getting debt or equity from crowdfunding platforms, have a look at that. If you are a, um, if you are going to achieve the qualifying status for EIS or SEIS, then again that makes it attractive to investors because they will get tax relief on the investment in shares in your business. So that's just a quick overview of how do you finance a new startup. Uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe up here and I will see you soon.